What is up, everybody? This is Buster Posey from The Minecraft Pigs, and I am here with our most requested tutorial ever, requested by all of these people. And thanks to all of you for requesting this. This has by far been our most requested tutorial. It is how to set up a bucket server on a Mac. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I am playing on Minecraft 1.1 because that is what is out while I'm recording this, but these kind of things do not normally change. Um, so if you're playing on 1.2, 1.3, whatever else comes out in the future, this will still be the same. Um, if it is any different, there will be a link or annotation on the screen right now to go watch the updated version of the tutorial. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is go to www, uh, just kidding, not www, just http uh, slash slash bucket.org, link in the description, or you can just search bucket like I did to get here. Now, this is how you're going to get your bucket server started. Now, before I do this, I'm just going to explain what bucket is. Um, if you don't want to listen to what bucket is and you already know what it is, why I'm doing this tutorial, uh, click the annotation on the screen right now to just start the actual tutorial. Now, here's what Bucket is. A uh, Bucket, when you get your first Bucket server, it will be exactly the same as a normal Minecraft server. Uh, the difference with Bucket is you can basically mod your server. So, uh, the mod, you're not going to use mods, they are called plugins. Now, what the plugins do is this will allow you to have ranks on your server, do different things such as uh, World Edit, which you can actually do in single player, uh, Voxel Sniper, just all these different things, and um, I highly suggest using Bucket. We use it for our server. Um, all of this kind of stuff, Bucket is just a um, much easier way to run a server. Um, even if you aren't going to use plugins, I would still suggest using Bucket because it's a lot easier to launch your server and all that stuff, and if you ever want to switch over, it's very easy. So, let's get started with the tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is click on Get Craft Bucket and that will take you to this setting up a server page. Now, uh, there's all this different stuff, so you can just scroll down to where you find um, the Mac OS X right, oops, just highlight it, right there. Now you can read all of this, or this is the alternate method for advanced users, but uh, all of you are advanced, and this is actually not hard at all. So what you're just going to do is copy this, which is uh, Command C, or right click and copy it. And now you're going to open up Terminal. Now, uh, setting up a normal server, if you guys know, you had to go through Terminal every single time, but this, this is our only Terminal command, so we're just going to paste this in. Now what this is doing is it's going to this URL, bucket.org, craftbucket1.1 jar, and what it'll do, it will download, as you can see right here, it'll say time left. And this timer will go down, and what it's doing is it's getting the bucket.jar, which is basically uh, minecraft.jar, and bam. So now you can see we get all these little things, and if we minimize this window, on your desktop you will see this bucket server folder. Now in here you will see two different things. There will be craftbucket.jar and start.command. Now, do not click craft.jar like you normally would because that will start your server and you will have no way of stopping it. What craftbucket.jar will do is just launch your server and you won't have any way to stop it or anything like that because there is no um, console. But when you do the start command, uh, it will. So instead of just clicking the start command, we're going to do open with text edit. Now what we're going to do right now is change the amount of RAM that we are doing this with so you can choose um, different amounts of RAM. There will be a link in the description with the different amounts of RAM that you want to use. Um, you can use anywhere from no RAM, which I don't suggest using. Uh, 1024 is one gig of RAM, which will probably be good. You want to make sure to not keep in the brackets because that will screw it up. Uh, so just like this, there will be all of this stuff in the description. If your server is running out of space and crashing, you can always add more, but one gig is pretty much good for what you're going to be doing. You can just close that, and now you're ready. So say you have another world file that you really want to use for your server. 
If you do not have another world file, you can just click the start.command and that'll open up your server, create everything. But right now, I want to have it. So I'm just going to go to library, application support, Minecraft, saves, and um, we'll just do this new world that I have right here. Um, you can either drag it out, oh, not with that, or you can just duplicate it. Now you have another one, and it'll be on the desktop. Now, if you're going to put something into the bucket server, and it's going to be the world, you're going to have to change the name, because new world copy, it will not understand. So if you select it, hit return, you'll be able to change the name, just name it world. Plop that right in there. Um, for this tutorial, we aren't actually going to do that, so we're not going to actually use the world, but if you want, that is how you're going to do it. If you have anything other, like server properties, whitelist, all that stuff can just go in here. Now we're just going to double click start.command. The server will start up. And as it starts up, we're going to go back to the internet and use port map. Now, port map is how you connect to people's servers. Um, if you've ever connected to the server uh, or you watched our other tutorial, you know what this does. But basically, this will give you the IP and it'll allow other people to connect to your server that aren't on your computer, which is basically the only reason you would use multiplayer. So, what you're going to do is go to this port map website. You can either Google it, it'll be the first one, or you can just click the link in the description. Um, so you're going to go down to four landlubbers, users, and click download the application. Now, that will download. does not take long. And in our downloads, we will see port map. Now, uh, this is taking a while because in 1.0 they added all the different worlds. So this is going to take a little bit to spawn uh, nether and, and normal world, but we can do this. So, you're just going to open this. Now as you can see, port map might have your IP up here. It might say router incompatible. Um, so if your router is incompatible, two of things. Maybe your internet is off, or your NAT PMP mapping is off. So what you're going to have to do is, I would just search it on Google, how to do NAT PMP mapping. Hopefully, you won't have to worry about that. But if you do, that sucks because it's not really that big of a deal because it's easily fixable. But you're just going to have to go through all these different um, settings, I believe. You're going to have to go to Applications. Um, Go to uh, utilities. Down here. And you're going to have to go to your airport utility. Airport. I'll just try and say uh, open preferences. Ooh, cancel. But you're just going to have to do that. Fix your. That PMP. I would Google it because it's actually a pretty easy thing to fix. I'm not going to go into it in detail because it'll take too long. But, so, your server is up, and now you can see in the bucket server, we're going to have all of these things. So the main things that we're going to work with is the start dot command. I suggest making it a color. Just do green so you can easily turn on and off your server. If you got the world, world nether, and world the end. Now, never click craftbucket.jar before you've added yourself to ops. Because in your ops, you will be able to start and stop the server. So you can just put yourself in the ops. Now, there is banned IPs, banned players. Um, if you have a server and you decide to ban someone, uh, you can use this. And that'll ban them from your server and they won't be able to get on. In permissions, open with other. Uh, the permissions.yml, it won't understand it on a Mac. Just scroll down, uh, use text edit, and oh, permissions, not what I actually want. Sorry about that. Server properties. Um, permissions, it's a way to do a permission system such as ranks, but I don't suggest using it. Just get a um, plugin for permissions that'll work a lot better, and I will show you that in part two of this tutorial, but right now we're just going to be setting up the main part of the server. So in server properties, 
this will look um, pretty much the same as the normal server properties, but it's a little bit different. So um, if you want people to be able to fly um, using Zom's fly mod, not really a need for that now. Um, all this stuff, online mode, true, difficulty, max players. So say you had a server where you had 5 billion friends, you could make it max players that. I'm just going to set the max players to 12 uh, for no reason at all. Uh, spawn monsters, I don't want it. You have to do false. Generate structures, true, view distance, and we're going to change this to setting up a bucket server. So, just close that. And that's pretty much all we're going to need for right now. We're going to go back to port map, click the plus button. Local port is always going to be 25565, which is the port that Minecraft hooks up to. And if you do not want your desired public port to be 25565, you could actually enter whatever you want, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm just going to do 25565, add mapping. And now you'll see this. Now, when you have 25565 as your port ending, you do not need to do the 76, yada, yada, 126, and then do a colon 25565 like normal. But as you can see, here is my server. Um, the Nothing has really loaded in because I never reloaded the server. You can just hit reload, type in reload. Oh. Wrong thing. Oopsie daisies. Here is the server console. Do not close this or your server will stop. Reload. Reload complete. Refresh. Maybe you have to stop the server. To stop the server, you just type in stop. And when you stop it, do not fear. It saves automatically. Start the server up. Go back into Minecraft. This will all go. Preparing world seed. Done. We're going to go to multiplayer, and as you can see, it says setting up a bucket server. Zero out of 12, and I log in. Whoa, we lag. Not crazy. And here's your server. So you can change your game mode by game mode by doing slash game mode player. I'll do Buster Posey. Whoa. Now, um, zero is survival, one is creative, and now I'm in creative mode. To op someone, just do slash op buster posy. Um, wrong spelling, but yeah, you get it. Um, to stop the server, just do slash stop. You can also reload the server from in the game if you're an op. It takes a little while to stop the server because it has to connect. But then the server will stop. So this is how to set up a bucket server. This is part one of the tutorial. Um, part two will show you how to get plugins and some useful plugins. So just click the annotation on the screen right now to take you over to there. If this tutorial helped you, please take a half second, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or problems about this. Make sure to subscribe up above because we have tons of Minecraft content. We do lots of Minecraft on a Mac. Um, we have lots of tutorials of different mods, different things. Um, yeah, just leave comments down below if it worked. If it didn't work, just tell me what you guys think. If you have any other tutorial requests or requests for series or something that we should do, please leave a comment down below. As always, this is Buster Posey. Click the annotation on the screen right now to go to the part two of this tutorial. And I will see you guys next time. Adios.